Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke from Curto's The Ring of Fire. And I bid you welcome to beautiful and bucolic Yonkers, New York. Um, I am uh, hanging here with my Prima, which is smoking away. And um, it is late December. Uh, we are past December 21st, and that means that we are gaining one more minute of sunshine per day. And that means that we are on the path to uh, the spring and the summer. It's a smoke-filled path at that and full of lots of smoking, searing, baking, roasting, and all lots of under wonderful things we'll be doing outside. I noticed that, um, I mean, what I do is I, I start to grow more at this time of the year um, as we start to gain a little more sunlight per day. It's an, an important thing to me. Maybe it's psychological. Maybe I've had enough of hanging in the house uh, for extended periods with my wife and my kids and listening to them fight. So we come outside, we cook, we sear, we smoke, we enjoy a libation, one or five or so, and life is good. But anyway, um, what I want to talk about today is uh, something that's actually not sitting next to me. It's my DCS grill. Whoa, that was a big puff right there. Um, today was actually the first time that I used the DCS, their new solid fuel box. Um, I think they actually call it a charcoal smoker box or charcoal smoker insert. And um, this, this uh, was a very interesting cook, very, very different than the alfresco uh, version, um, which in the past I had, uh, not that I've criticized DCS, but I felt that the alfresco was their smoker um, or solid fuel box was executed uh, in a far better fashion because it's much taller, thus you could fit more wood, more charcoal, and you could also have more um, uh, distance between the grates and your food and the fuel source. Um, reason being, why is that important? When you're cooking with solid fuel, the temperatures are typically much, much higher than they are with gas. However, I was pleasantly surprised today. Um, took my 36 inch... Okay, I'm doing something. I was actually inspired to do this today because um, a friend of mine um, who has a 48 inch DCS used his charcoal insert for his Thanksgiving turkey uh, and texted me and told me it was the best turkey ever tasted in his life. Absolutely out of control. And I said, you know what? It's about time. I've talked about this thing before. I need to, I need to cook on it. So he inspired me. Thank you, Brendan, for doing that. Anyway, today I took the 36. Very, very simple cook. Did not try to smoke anything. I didn't do a long, uh, you know, brisket or uh, turkey or uh, whatever. What did I do? I got two types of Italian sausage. I didn't even smoke them. I simply put the charcoal insert into the grill, let it rip about 10 minutes. I was lit, turned the gas off, threw the sausage on there and observed, okay? And here's what I saw. Um, first of all, the sausage came off fantastic. Everybody loved it, okay? But the first observation I'll make on the initial cook, very, very impressed at the lack of sustained flare-ups. I was concerned with um, DCS's execution on this because there is not much room between the grate and your protein, okay, and the actual coals that are burning very hot. Remember, charcoal, again, charcoal and wood are going to burn hotter than gas. So with a very, very small distance between them, I thought we have Italian sausage here. There's going to be drippings, grease, the fat. It's going to ignite. There was nary, nary uh, a flare-up. Every so often we get what I like to call the flame kiss. It would come up and come down again. I actually saw fewer flare-ups with this smoker you know, insert than, uh, oof, got another strong one over there, excuse me. Um, I saw fewer flare-ups of this than I've seen on my alfresco. Um, so that's just something I've got to, uh, I got, wow, we're getting a lot of smoke over here. I guess one of the uh, pieces of wood have ignited. Um, but uh, the lack of flare-ups was astounding and totally threw me for a loop because I was expecting the complete opposite to happen. So again, this is the initial cook, but throwing two very large you know, uh, pieces of Italian sausage on there, okay, which is an incredibly fatty food, dripping right down there on those, on those you know, embers, um, but and still getting a, uh, seeing a lack of a flare-up was, was, was pretty exciting. And um, we're gonna throw some steaks on there soon, and then we're gonna, we're gonna try to emulate what Brendan did and put a turkey or um, some type of poultry on there and actually smoke. So um, again, the initial cook on the DCS charcoal box, thumbs up. A lot more uh, to, uh, to explore this winter. Uh, so when you all are uh, 
uh, getting ready to uh, make your purchases for the springtime, um, you will be well read and well researched by hanging here with Senor Smoke as I take uh, uh, the DCS on a journey of exploration and smoking. It's all good. Um, folks, jonathanacurtos.com, best way to get me. If you're in the tri-state area, please come in and visit us. DCS, I always have to mention it. We do ship DCS nationwide, free shipping. Uh, if interested, so please uh, uh, give me a shout. And um, uh, that's about it. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Talk to you soon.